This is Kenneth from Singapore, Aaron from the US, and that's Delphine from France. What they do differs between countries, but in the end they all do the same thing. They match clients and candidates for Ronstadt. Aaron rushes to get to work, which was almost going to happen on time today. In the meantime, Kenneth is way more organized and already in the car to work. Unfortunately, this is Singapore. Things are looking better in France, though, where Delphine is already at the in-house location. First thing she does is check if everyone who was scheduled for this morning shift has shown up. She evaluates the night shifts and discusses the week's planning with the supervisor. Erin has finally managed to get to the office and starts calling and inviting candidates. She's preparing a meeting with a client to evaluate a temp that worked there. She's printing interview transcripts, the candidate's development plan, and a few other documents. Delphine takes some time for lunch and has written a job profile for a client's opening and publishes it online. Erin is about to meet a client. We see her talking for 45 minutes to be able to judge the candidate correctly. Admin time for Kenneth. He's been on three visits today and gets to log everything into the system manually. The same goes for Aaron for the evaluation of the candidate. And that's it. It's been another long and full day. Same Tuesday, three years later. Remember Kenneth, Aaron, and Delphine? How does their day differ from the old days? Erin is rushing to get to work. Oh no, wait, she isn't. She's going to have a video conference at home. Although some things don't change. Like Singapore traffic, unfortunately. But Kenneth makes efficient use of his time by starting a chat with one of his colleagues. In France, Delphine's checking who showed up during the night shift, filling orders and automated planning giving her more time to talk with the supervisor about things that really matter. Like Delphine, Aaron is done with this morning's routine in 10 minutes instead of 30. Great, more time to actually talk to candidates. Finally, self-driving cars are here. Oh, guess these cars still aren't foolproof in 2020. Aaron gets a notification about prospects nearby. Aaron shows the HR manager a few candidates. Their profiles are enriched with data from their online presence and by automated chatbots. Once the HR manager has selected a suitable candidate, she starts a video conversation. Aaron meets a candidate, explains the assessment game to him. The candidate starts the game, which gives her 40 minutes extra that she can use to talk to a few more clients via chat. Done. Admin time for Kenneth. Kenneth gets his tablet out and sees which orders are predicted. The software provides the ideal match based on information from various sources. Ten clicks later and all admin has been completed, which gives Kenneth time to start a conversation with another client, to which he proposes a candidate by sharing all the info, which is just the person the client is looking for. So even in 2020, the basics of our work will be the same, but technology will make a big difference in how we do it, helping you to spend more time on what really matters. Human forward.